Hi again, it's me. And in the last video, I have shown you how to add a page and an add on to the layout. Now, I want to show you how we can add more add ons and more rows and columns and advanced layouting. So, to add a new row, we hover over the current row. And on the bottom, you will see a blue plus icon. You just click on it and it adds a new row. We can do this a couple of times and add as many rows as we want. Now to add another add-on to this row, I'm going to click on the plus like we have done in the previous tutorial. And I want to add a header, so I'm going to click on the header category. And I want this one. It's free for everyone to use, so I can just click install installing it finished installing I'm going to click it again and I'm not going to change anything right now I'm just going to click set add-on cool so now we have a banner and we have a header on our page I want to move my header above the banner so I'm going to just drag it above okay you drag it in this uh, cross and icon when hovering over the row. So I'm going to show this again. Click and drag. Click and drag. Cool. Next thing I want to do is I want to split this row into more than one column. Okay, this green border is representing the column. So when you hover over the column on the right top side you see the options for the column you can also drag this and you can also duplicate and you can also delete and you can also add a new column to the left and to the right and so currently I'm gonna duplicate it once and duplicate it twice and I've created the layout I wanted for this section I think that's pretty cool now to edit an add-on, uh, one specific add-on settings, what you need to do is you need to hover over the add-on. And in the middle, there will be some icons. Also here, you can drag the add-on to a different column or row. You can duplicate the add-on. It will duplicate it in the same column. You can delete it overall if you don't want it at all. And you can edit it. So I'm going to click Edit. I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to change the icon to the camera icon. Click update. And it's updated. Cool. Next thing I want to show you is that you can control the container width. What does the container width mean? It means the width of the columns themselves. So currently, if I click on the settings icon, you can see it's set to 960 pixels uh, and that's uh, not enough wide for me so I'm going to change it to 1170px I add the px uh, because it can also be percent it can be or px or percent and percent I'm going to show you in a minute so let's click we change that and we're going to click update row settings and you can see it made the width larger. So that's what's container width, and you go to it by hovering over the row and clicking the set, clicking the settings icon. Very cool. Next thing I want to show is the space between the add-ons. Okay, this is called gutter. Now you open the option by clicking the same icon. And the gutter, the default gutter is 15, meaning that between add-ons it's actually 30 because it's taking from two add-ons is the space between uh, one add-on. So if I'm going to change this to 5, for example, and click Update, as you can see, the, um, the space between them is much smaller. And you can set this to any size you want. 
So it was 15, and now it was 5, and I'm changing it to 30. Now it will be pretty big. So that's called column gutter. Another thing we can do is we can add a background to the whole row. We have this color selector. And I'm just going to take a bold color for now so you can see the difference. And we've added a background color. Another thing we can do is change the space above and on the bottom. This is called row padding. Row padding, I'm going to adjust it to 100 and 100 and click update. Cool? That's starting to look pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll up to my header add-on and I want this add-on to be full width. So I'm going to go to the settings again and I'm going to scroll up to the row container width and I'm going to set that to 100% width. The column gutter I'm going to change to 0, row padding top to 0, row padding bottom to 0, and I'm going to click update. So as you can see now this header is full width. If I scroll down I can see my layout underneath and this layout is pretty cool but I want to change it to something different. I, w I don't want the columns split even. So to do that I need to hover over the row and there's a button here for the layout of the row. I'm going to click on it and I can select any one of the choices here. What I want is this last choice where the two external columns are smaller and the middle one is bigger. I'm going to click on that and boom, it changes it how I want. That's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one.